Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're exploring reconnaissance mitigation through next generation firewalls. My name is Denzel Martin. My name is Favorago. And we are with the Department of uh, Integrated Information Technology. So the agenda, first up, we're going to talk about reconnaissance. Then next, we're going to talk about next generation firewalls and then Palo Alto firewall systems. Then we'll have a conclusion followed by a Palo Alto dem uh, demonstration. Reconnaissance is a critical aspect of cybersecurity. Uh, reconnaissance is the initial phase of a cyber attack where the attacker gathers information about the target and, and their network system and to identify vulnerabilities and potential entry points. There are two types of reconnaissance attack, passive and active. Passive reconnaissance involves collecting information without directly interacting with the targets. On the other hand, active reconnaissance involves engaging with the target system, like scanning for open ports and services. Understanding the importance of detecting and preventing reconnaissance activities is crucial for fortifying our cybersecurity's defenses. Early detection of reconnaissance activities is crucial to thwart potential cyber threats, and a robust security strategy should include measures to prevent and mitigate reconnaissance attempts. Now let's shift our focus to new generation firewalls, a powerful tool in the cyber in a a powerful tool in our cybersecurity security arsenal. New generation firewalls combine traditional firewall capabilities and advanced security technologies. They offer deep inspection of our network traffic, allowing a deep control over applications and user activities. New generation firewalls go beyond traditional firewalls offering advanced capabilities that enhance our security posture. New generation firewalls include IPS intrusive intrusion prevention systems, and it includes those capabilities for real-time threat prevention. They also provide application layer filtering to control and monitor application usage. And it also conducts SSL and TLS inspection to detect th threats hidden within the encrypted data. Additionally, new generation firewalls often include a suite of advanced security features to stay ahead of sophisticated threats. Features such as antivirus, sandboxing, and threat intelligence integration enhance the firewall's ability to identify and block emergent, emergent threats. Now let's focus on Palo Alto Networks, a cybersecurity leader known for its innovative firewall technologies. Palo Alto is a leading cybersecurity co company committed to innovation and comprehensive security platforms. Let's explore the unique features and capabilities that set Palo Alto networks apart in the cybersecurity landscape. The prevention first mindset disrupt threats before they can you they can cause harm. Specifically, Palo Alto firewall play a vital role also in detecting and preventing reconnaissance activity. Their integration of threat intelligence and continuous updates ensure Palo Alto systems stay ahead of the new and emerging threats. Reconnaissance is the first phase of a cyber attack and new generation firewalls, particularly those provided by Palo Alto networks, provide the means to detect and mitigate reconnaissance.
All right, and now we will transition into a short demo that we've prepared, um, setting up a Palo Alto firewall to protect against reconnaissance. Okay, so to set up our firewall against reconnaissance protection, uh, so this is gonna include protection against port scans and pin sweeps. Uh, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is modify one of the zone protection profiles that we've set up previously. Uh, so we're gonna click on this user net profiles and then we're gonna go over to the reconnaissance protection tab here. Um, and then we're going to make sure that we check the TCP port scan. And then for the action, we're going to change that to block IP. We're gonna track it by the source and the duration is gonna be two seconds for the purpose of this demonstration. And we're also going to change the threshold to two as well. And once that's done, you just click OK and commit your changes. All right, so once the commitment is done, we're going to want to verify that the TCP port scan protection works. Um, so we're going to minimize the Chromium browser, and then we're going to start a TCP scan. So we're going to let this run for about 30 seconds, and then we will stop the scanning. All right, so now we're going to stop the scan. And we're going to go back to our Chromium browser to the firewall. And then we're going to go to our threat logs here just to verify that everything picked up. So here you can see the threat ID name is the TCP port scan. Uh, the type is scan, obviously, and then we have medium severity. Um, so that verifies that our firewall is set up with TCP port scanning protection enabled. Uh, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set up packet-based um, attack protection. So we're going to go back to our network tab and go back to the same zone protection profile we did before. But this time, instead of going to the reconnaissance protection, we're going to go to the packet-based attack protection. Uh, and we're going to change just one thing here. We're just going to record the route for the IP option drop. And then we're going to hit OK and then we're going to commit those changes just like last time. All right, so once our commitment is done, close that screen. We're going to minimize the Chromium browser again. And this time, we're going to run an IP record uh, route ping. So we'll start it, and then we'll just let it run all the way through.
All right, so once that process is complete, go ahead and close that window, open our Chromium browser back up, and then we're going to monitor that threat log as well, let it refresh. And as you can see, uh, we have a packet type, um, IP option uh, record route, and the severity is informational. Uh, and that came from the from the ping we just ran. So uh, once both of those are set up, your firewall is now uh, set up for reconnaissance protection, and that's it. And that concludes our presentation on reconnaissance mitigation through next generation firewalls. We hope that information was helpful. Uh, thank you. Thank you.